Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. That is a spider zombie. Woo! Oh! Oh! Where'd everyone come from? No, no! No, 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 Where did all these zombies come from? Oh my god, I was not prepared for this. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die of 18.3. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Just last episode, we went on that little trip in our favorite rocket ship, aka our brand spanking new mini bike that we just finished building up last episode. And this thing has been huge because it led us to this brand new town that we discovered over to the east of our usual place. And, uh, well, this is a military bunker installation that we have managed to stumble across. We are gonna get to looting this thing. Problem is, our inventory is looking a uh, little bit light, a little bit empty, which is a little bit unfortunate. Probably what we're gonna need to do is end up building a little bit of a chest, maybe just up on the top side here, for us to put stuff away into, because I am also contemplating utilizing this entire place as our kind of temporary base for whenever we might be in this part of our seven days to die world. And speaking of things that we gotta do, we got a munitions box, we got our lucky glasses on, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Actually, hold up. Do I have a park level? I do. Oh, I kind of want to get a level of lucky looter, except I can't. We gotta go up in perception, so I'll go ahead and do that. And before I open this, I do want to level up one more time so we end up getting slightly better loot than we otherwise would have. Luckily, there's gonna be plenty of zombies for us to kill over here, so without further ado, let's get to it! We got a military bunker that we gotta go and clear out, and there's some pretty tough cookies! Unfortunately, no cookies are tough enough to stop ours. Oh, hold up. This cookie's a little evasive, but no cookie's tough enough to stop the power of the steel sledgehammer! Okay, he can kinda stop it for one hit, but then he dies. Seriously, it is just so freaking powerful what this thing is capable of, man. I love it. All right, let's continue clearing this joint out, though. There's going to be a lot of zombies that are going to be trying to put us a stop in our tracks. And uh, that's not cool, dude. That's not very swag of them to do. So we're going to put a stop to that. Uh, that zombie's outside. Not going to worry about it. I'm going to worry about this dumpster. Ooh, hello. 10% more damage at night. I'll take it. I don't know who threw out a dope book like that. And I never thought I'd hear the day, but dude, I am saying this sentence. That was a dope book, my guy. Okay, speaking of things that I kind of need, we got to come across some water too. I mean, we do have some bottled water here. I'll drink up a little bit of that. But if that 3% chance of dysentery hits, I'm going to be very bad. I do not want a case of the poops right now. Okay, because we got this entire joint we got to clear out. We are also a little bit over encumbered, which kind of does suck, but we'll make it do hello. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. That is a spider zombie. Woo! Oh! Oh! Where'd everyone come from? No, 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 no. Not cool, not cool, not cool. Let's get a little bit of separation here. I am bleeding. Oh my God. Uh, uh, do I have any band-aids? I don't know if I do. This bleeding has got to stop right now. Dude, I can't be dying. I can't die already. That's not allowed. That's illegal. Hold up, can I? Okay, the bleeding stopped. Woo! Oh! Where did all these zombies come from? Oh my god, I was not prepared for this. All right. I think it might be time for us to bring out some of the fun guns. AKA, I got the Molotov with some zombies name on them. Yeah, yeet! Woo! Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn! And that should soften them up nice and kindly for us. Oh my god, bro. This is the most lethal conga line. I have ever seen. Luckily, if we get out of this alive, which I really hope we do. Oh, how did you survive that? Oh my God, dude, these are some tough zombies. I tell you what, do we got to start bringing out the guns? I hope not, man. I'm just kind of trying to blow their brains open. And then we can start getting into the military installation. As you guys can see, this is not an easy location that we are in the process of clearing out. There are some very strong, so I'm cold. Are you kidding me? How am I cold? Oh my god, the sound is head made. Yeah, there's some very tough zombies we gotta clear out. Our health should start slowly regenerating though, which is good. Hopefully we can take some cover inside, so you know, we don't die as badly. Oh my god. From the cold. 
But for now, let's just continue dealing with these dudes because there's a lot of dudes we got to deal with. And as you guys, dude, I don't know how we just got jumped by like 50 of them, though. Also, why are your guys' heads still intact? I explain. America, explain. What is going on? Okay, you. Oh, no, I completely whiffed that. Dude, that's not good. Being over encumbered is kind of poopy, too. It's not the case of the poops I was worried about when I was drinking that water, but still kind of poopy. Let's continue doinking their brains. We might even get another level up here. But regardless, after this, we do have a level already. I'm going to get that lucky looter perk. We're going to go see what's on top of there. Then we're going to continue looting this place up because there should be some very valuable stuff we're able to get over here. Woo! Big hit. And I am looking forward to that. Almost as much as I'm looking forward to watching these dudes die. All right. You... You are not even as close to as big of a threat as some of those other dudes I was dealing with. I'm not scared. Dude, bless up for that perk we have that slowly does regenerate our health too. That's going to be a big help. I also, we got to get some band-aids. Because in my panic, did I miss some band-aids or did I put them away? I might have put the band-aids away into our chopper. Or the mini bike, I should say. So I'll go and check up on that. After I finish blowing some brains. Come on, baby. Bop. You're donezo. Bop. You're donezo. Oh, they even opened up a nice doorway for us. How convenient. All right, how y'all doing here? I think it's about time we give these guys some attention. Maybe a li little bit of love here, you know? Call me the love doctor. Because these guys over here, they need some. And I got some in the form of a giant steel warhammer. What's up, baby? How are you doing? Bob. There you go. How's that? Your head's missing. Is that lovely enough? Okay, your head's still intact. That's not cool. Oh, what? I hit the dirt? There you go. I hit him this time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really want to take some cover, like, inside, where hopefully the cold will not affect us as badly. But we do have our lucky goggles. Now, let's toss them back on. Let's apply this perk that I was talking about. Let's get some slightly better loot. Without further ado, munitions box, what do you got in store for me? No whammy, 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 no whammy. Woo! That's it. That is really it, dude. Frankly, I am disappointed. But that's okay. This is the part where we gotta go and build a little wooden chest, except I have no wood with which to build a said chest. Okay. This is unfortunate. Do I have any wood in here? And or a band-aid? Are my band-aids here? I have some soup. I'll eat the soup. Oh, well, here we got some band-aids. Yeah, let's definitely use one of these first aiders. Get some max health back. Get some health back in general. That's going to be very, very helpful at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And I suppose I got to go and chop me down a couple of trees here. Honestly, one tree should do the trick. Dude, we still got that location over there. Like, seriously, this is a military city that we are in the middle of between this bunker. Oh, I don't have the inventory room for this wood. Let's fix that. But seriously, between this bunker over here, that military outpost there, I think I saw like a mil- Yeah, there's a military camp right there. This is a military city that we are in the midst of. And military camps tend to have some really good loot, especially because I like guns. And military has, has a lot of those. So yeah, we're in pretty good shape to get some stuff done. I'm not even going to chop down that entire tree. I don't need all this wood. I literally just get me one chest. That's all that I need. Because I just need an inventory room. It's a very valuable resource at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. And I will be tossing you up. I might toss it up there, actually, for the time being. That's a pretty safe spot. I've used that in prior seven days to die seasons. Does sound a bit dangerous, but hey. Dangerous by middle name. Just kidding. That'd be something, though. Uh, Yeah, I'll just levitate you above that thing. I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead and put away literally almost everything that we got. I'll bring the steel shovel with, though. Who knows? That might come in handy. Let's continue putting some stuff away up into here. And because of the incredible... Ooh, hold up. I'm going to put this in my mini bike. Just saying. But... Oh, I still can't do that either. Okay. I'll put away the sledgehammer for the time being, too. Put away the wrench. I don't need all these wrenches. Just a few will do the trick. Uh, and all right, I'm gonna. Oh, hello! How are you doing, guys, sir? How did you get up here? No, 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 no! No, it's cool. Please go away. Thank you. Come again. I thought I heard some shenanigans. I didn't realize that those were the shenanigans I was hearing. You know, just a zombie rolling up on us. Ow! I don't like bleeding. 
It's overrated. Eh. All right, let's pick up the rest of those. And let's go and start organizing stuff. I want to make sure we put away our most valuable loot into our mini bike. Just because, like, we do need to drive home at a certain point, obviously. And ultimately, I want to bring all the loot that we have with us back home. But I have priorities. And I would like to capitalize on those priorities. So we'll go. I'll actually have a little bit of ammo with us. So we got our emergency pistol fun there. Put away the cash. Put away some shotgun ammo. Definitely the mod. Uh, some of these raw resources I definitely do want put away as well. That will come in handy with us uh, creating some defenses and that type of jazz at home. I'll put away the pipe bombs. We don't need those right now. And I'll keep the shovel. Put away the powder. Keep the band-aids. I'll put away the meat. That's going to be a lot of good food, actually. And uh, I'm pretty happy with what we got put away at the moment. I think that'll be good. The rest of this stuff, I'll put in this into our temporary chest here. That's not the chest. The other one. And then we'll get back to looting this joint up. But hopefully everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from the video bringing you a smile, bringing you a giggle, or maybe just bringing you some joy from the incredible shenanigans we're constantly getting ourselves into. Does not matter to me how a little bit of happiness might be able to make its way into your lives. I'm just crossing my fingers that that little bit of joy, well, that it's able to enter those lives of yours. Maybe. Doesn't have to be through my video. I don't care how it happens. Maybe you saw a funny meme today. Maybe you triumphed against some sort of great evil today. I don't know how many of us go up against evil every day, but you never know. Maybe you found a $20 bill on the ground, in which case, pass it over. No, just kidding. You can keep it. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully everyone does have an absolutely incredible one. That only does keep on getting better. I'm just going to grab a couple of things here. Uh, I'll grab the poncho. That, that's going to be perfect for when we go to the desert. Because I do want to explore the desert to the west of our home, too. We got a couple of things we got to knock out like that. Um, definitely the food. Because our food supplies are pretty valuable. And water's overrated. I'll leave some water here. And all in all, probably the leather chest armor. We could sell that for a decent penny. Same with those. And there is actually... We did find a trader nearby. Right over there. Which is another big plus. Because now we have two nearby settlements... Thanks to the just stuff that the mini bike brought us that we can explore. That is going to be huge. Because now that means we have twice as many places we could go to sell stuff. Twice as many places we could go to see what kind of loot they have. Because each store, I did not want to get on the mini bike. Each store does actually have unique loot compared to like its uh, companions. I think that's a good way of putting it. I'm bringing that food with me, by the way. All right. Let's get to exploring the rest of this place, shall we? The going. Oh, I whiffed that. Is about to get rough. Eh, munitions box, no. Let's put, uh, okay, we got the lucky goggles on. Let's continue looting here. I do think that there should be another one of those ammo boxes. I think inside of one of these, maybe? Uh, parkour? No, I see a little bird's nest there. What was that noise? Oh, yeah, there's gonna be some zombies down in those missile silos, by the way. Gotta be ready for that. So, alrighty. I think we got the one kind of like ammo box that was topside unless there's one down here which there might be i want to explore this time we're not gonna get jumped by 50 zombies though although we'll probably run into many many more all right let's definitely see what's in the sedan then we'll start diving into the depths of this place because this is a complicated structure we got to dive into man things that are going to be getting complex hello knock knock it's your boy, Star. How you doing today? This room. Oh, baby. Woo! Yeehaw, mother trucker. I love this room. We got ourselves two gun safes. We got ourselves a shotgun, a messiah, sealed shipping crate. This is why this location is so awesome. The loot we're going to be walking out of here with is going to help us prepare for day 14 so freaking badly. Ah, we already have an AK. Otherwise, that would have been hype, but our AK is significantly better than the one that we did just find. Let's go and try to pick our locks into these gun safes. I do only have four. Hopefully, they do not break. I don't want to jinx it. Oy vey. Otherwise, we're going to have to break into these safes manually. Ideally, I would like to skip the whole manual part. I hear, I hear footsteps getting kind of suspiciously close. I do not want to get jumped. I'm in the middle of picking a lock right now, bro. Hello? Okay, no one. Yeah, we still got two more lockpicks. Please, lockpicks. Please. 
Oh, no. Come on, baby. This is the last one. This is the last one. Just five seconds. Five seconds. That is all that I ask. All that I ask. Let's freaking go. Gun safe has got. Ooh, baby. That's a lot of money, money, money. Hello, zombie, zombie, zombie. I'll deal with you when the time comes. That time is not now. This gun safe over here, though. Our lockpick's still intact. I don't think we're going to be able to break into this, though. So we got to break into it the manual way. Or do we just break into this in the future? I don't know. We could we could do this in the middle of the night, maybe. Just try to be a bit more productive. Because right now it's daytime. Definitely want to capitalize on the fact that zombies are not going to be just running into our beeswax. Because running zombies are terrifying. Significantly harder than their predecessors of the ones that don't run. Okie dokie, though. Hello? Hello! How you doing there, buddy? Yeet! Big hit. Yeah, this might be a uh, two-episode type of affair. Trying to loot up everything that this base has to offer. Because this installation, it's big, man. It's filled with a lot of loot, too. Let's put the nerdy glasses back on here. We are bopping some brains. How did you survive? Oh, my God, nurse. I'm impressed. Now, please die. Okay? Impressing me is not going to lead to your life being spared. Okay, you are a zombie. You need to die. Woo! No, don't break the bookshelf. We gotta loot what's inside. We gotta loot what's inside. What in tarnation, my dude? Not cool. Although the secret passageway back there, kind of cool. Although for now, I don't want to go into there. What was that book that we got? Sniper Volume 1? Scopes add 10% damage. I like that perk. That's a cool perk. Let's see? Hopefully, we can find some more bookshelves as well. Bop! Dude, I got this cheerleader doing front flips. Hot dog. Hello. Let's back it up here. No need to get all up in my beeswax. If you get in my beeswax, your brains explode. Have you noticed the correlation? All right. I wonder if they could be related. They, yes, I do believe they are. If you get close to me, your brain explodes. Bop. See, what did I say? Where did you come from? I thought I cleared this upper floor. Dude, we got, we're about to get so many levels in EXP from this whole run, too. Because there's some pretty nice zombies down here that we could take down. Like, the military ones give a lot of EXP. Bunch of jazz like that. And, okay, here's the thing. I think that there's going to be a secret box under here. Woo! Whoa! Actually, it's some pretty good loot, dude. That's a lot of ammo. That's some AK ammo. That's going to be great. Where did you come from? Is that the guy from outside? Well, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, he was on a mission. That's terrifying. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna clear this place out first. I wonder if that military truck is any good loot. Why can I loot it from 50 miles away? That's terrifying. Bop. Goodbye to your brains. Bop. Goodbye to your brains. Do you want to join the No Brain Club? Oh, there you go. Bop, you're in. Bop, you're in. Bop, you're in. We got a level, baby. That's another skill point for us to utilize. Now, what's it going to take for that next level of Lucky Looter? Perception level three. Honestly, let's start working towards it, man. You know me. I like looting. One of my favorite pastimes. Let's get to it. What? Ah, it's because I did not aim for your brain, my good sir. This makes complete and utter sense. Oh, I heard zombies and they sounded up top. I guess not, though. Yeah. They, they, we, we can go deeper as well. We are going to be going deeper. We're going deeper, baby. First things first, though, we're going shallower. Because I do hear some ruckus being stirred up top. Man, you're still here. Hey, come over here to my drive through window. What's up? How you doing, big boy? Bop. Oh, you doing good? Oh, no. Hey, come on, come on. I'm the one delivering the food through the window. Oh, my God. Where are you jumping? Just die. There you go. 1,000 EXP. You'll love to see it. By the time we clear out this place, dude, I think one or two more levels is pretty realistic. So, okay. We cleared out the first few floors of that. We cleared this out. We still got to clear out the missile silos. The day is still young as well. And like I said, we are going to get to looting. But first, I kind of want to level up again. So we get even better loot when we do loot. You know? So I will be leaving this stuff untouched. Uh, I'll probably... One of these doors is unlocked, isn't it? Uh, well, this is just some glass. Glass is pretty easy to break through. Let's break through it. And let's see. 
What's going on in these missile silos? That is a thick missile, dude. Oh my god. All right, nothing on this floor. Let's go down a level. Nothing really on this floor besides this door, but we were already on the other side of that. So it does not matter too much. Hopefully we find some water. I know there's a kitchen down in these depths. There's a duffel bag. I'm going to loot this after I level up. Actually, eh, the duffel bag's not going to have anything too incredible. I'm going to wait to loot up the really good stuff we find. Oh, nice, dude. Not too shabby. But, like, I'm talking the really good lootables. I'm going to wait to loot those till we level up. Like the cream of the crop. That type of stuff, you know? Now, I do see zombies one floor below us. Bop. Hello, hello, hello. We got some construction workers. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you there, zombies. Okay, let's just kind of take you out. Hopefully, they don't come from our right flank. That's why I'm trying to back up and not go into uncharted territory. Just continue killing. Because it's so fun. Okay, they're all dead. I think this is a ladder that goes up. Although, I do think that this is locked. Dude, what is this zombie that I hear? It sounds really loud, like, in the middle of the floors. Is there a zombie up in those rafters? Is there a zombie stuck in the missile? Dude, I don't know. I got oh, questions that I do not want answered. Hello, guys. How you doing? How you, how you doing there, big boys? How you doing? Hey, 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 Back it up. Back it up. Was not expecting to open the door to 50 zombies. Okay, more like five, but still. There were some tough cookies. They were not your usual cookies, bro. These are some, like, five-week-old cookies that were left out in the open. All right, these are some stale metaphorical cookies. And that's bad for business. Hello, where'd you come from? I don't know. I don't want to know. How you doing? Okay. Okay. This is why I hate being down here. It is a dangerous location. You guys saw what happened last time we got ambushed. Not the good. Speaking of good things, though, if you guys check our bar at the bottom, that little blue bar above our toolbar, it is filling up. We're about, I'd say, 40, about a third of the way towards our next level. And that next level is when we get our next level of the looter perk that I was looking for. So I'm really excited for that. That's a locked doorway. That's a locked doorway. And that's a locked doorway. Why is everything locked up in here, dude? Hello, zombies. Can I kill you? Nice. Please come. Come hither. To your doom. Step forward one by one. Orderly fashion, please. Bop. There you go. See? Oh, my God. She looked mad. She turned that corner at Mach 5 speeds. Well, it's okay. No amount of mock is gonna save you from your doom. Oh, hello! What are you doing? Oh my god, she was like spazzing out for a sec. How'd you end up back here? Oh, that's the brainless one. That's the one whose head I blew up. Nice. I got some more locked doorways. We got some more zombies. Hello! This is... I think where we saw the elevator. Yes, sir! Oh, it goes even deeper, man. That's what I'm saying. This is a complex, which is kind of why I do want to use it as our base for this town. It's not going to be our permanent base, not by any means, but just a little safe house for us. I want to clear it out and I want to claim it as ours. So it's our little safe house that we could use when uh, push comes to shove. I feel like there's going to be zombies on the other side of this. Am I correct, Amundo, in that assumption? Hello? No, actually, it looks pretty, it's pretty empty. Okay. Continue just breaking that open. Uh, this is gonna take a minute, ain't it? Eh, not too bad. This is the last level of wood. And we are good. Boop. Hello? 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 Oh, Shamway box. Hold up. Let's put on the lucky goggles. You got some water for me, bro? I'm getting kind of thirsty. Shamway? No, they just got the sandwiches, bro. Come on. Oh, soup. I like soup. I take soup. Yeah, I don't know. With looting up the food cabinets, it's not the most important thing that we get that lucky looter level. We're not going to find anything incredible, incredible in these. So I'm just happy to get the level and knock it out. Okay, I hear a lot of ruckus, though. And I don't like ruckus. Where are these zombies, dude? I don't know. Oh, hello. Found them. Come over here, buddy. Right this way. Right this way, yeah? Big hit, baby. I'm taking out all your kneecaps. Okay, never mind. I'm completely missing their kneecaps. Get a little bit closer, will you? How am I missing this so badly? Okay, no, I think I'm hitting him. There you go. He died. This way. There you go. He dead. 
I'm doing a pretty good job. Oh my god. I just broke that thing open. <sighs> See ya. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot you a little bit. Is that cool? Oh my god! I blew up his arm. Dude, I usually blow up heads. This is uncharted territory for me. Hot diggity dang. Woo! Why? Where? Who? What? When? How? Sometimes why? Come on, dude. There you go. Goodbye to your brains. Splat those all over. Okay, now there is this little tunnel we could clear. Hey, buddies. I know you're not sleeping. I mean, I know you are sleeping. You ain't dead. Now you are, though. A bit more permanent sleep. I like that. I see loot in the distance. I want loot. I like loot. Loot is very cool. Loot is my best friend. And I need to go and reunite with my best friend. All right, we got a little dinner date here. Oh, I guess it's lunchtime right now. It's about 2 p.m. in the seven days to die world. You guys can see at the top. Day nine. Time. I actually might take the leather duster and the bow for now. But you guys might see time, you know, 1400 hours. That's 2 p.m. How do I get in there? I guess we got to continue going through this gauntlet of douche canoes. What's up, dude? Ooh. We got a few more. You're dead? Okay, yeah, she extra dead with the side of dead. Oh, dang, dude. We got more bookcases, but they broke them. Oh, power doors. Oh, I should have put the lucky goggles on when I looted that. And eh, that's okay. That's okay. We got this doorway here. These showers are very suspicious. Oh my god, he went flying. I love this, dude. I love this hammer so badly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. bro. Just watching him fly. What can I say? Call me freaking Bonnie and Clyde. I'm inventing the airplane right now, baby. I know it's not Bonnie and Clyde, but it was two dudes who did it. And I don't remember who. It was the airplane dudes. The Wright brothers. Call me the Wright brothers, baby. I'm making people fly. Oh, what's up, Crawler? I don't know if you can fly. Your head's just gonna blow up. Sorry, dude. Oh, dude, we are so close to that level. I know there's gonna be zombies that, like, ambush us here, yeah? No? Surprisingly... Not surprising. Okay, well, I still, got, I still gotta level up before I loot that. And I think there is still, like... Ah, did we clear out all the zombies? Or is there still gonna be, like, one more little room that we could get to? Because I do want to loot this joint, but I do want that next level really badly. I still... I'm going thirsty? That's not good. All right, hold on. I think there's one more room we still got to clear out. I don't know if there's zombies in there, but I distinctly remember this room. It was in here. I don't think we got to it yet. There should be some zombies inside. This might be our key to getting that last bit of EXP that we need. Oh, I missed. Not good, not good, not good. Never mind, we're back in business. Woohoo! He's doing cartwheels. Bop. Her head's exploding. That's how amazed she is by what's going on. Okay. That looks interesting. I think on the other side of one of these doorways, there's some very locked away zombies. And they want to get out. Well, listen here, zombies. You're free. Just kidding. Not free. We got to work through a couple more barriers here. But we're, we're breaking barriers all over. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to break that last barrier until I kill you, though. I hate to tell you this now. Probably very disappointed. That's okay. You're also dead. Dead people's disappointment does not count. Woo! And there's another level. And with that, we are ready, I believe, to get to looting. Let's get one more level of the loot. And, uh... Let's toss on the lucky goggles. And let's get to popping open some of these crates. Because they are about to have some of the best loot that we can get for a hot minute. All these levels are now going to make all future stuff that we loot up even better. And that's going to be good. Because we need lots of resources for building up our base back at home. And protecting against the horde. And whoa! Already paying off. That's some decent stuff. If you... Oh, ask me. Let's go. Okay. That's not as decent. But still okay. Hello. That's pretty nice. Uh, you can get scrapped. See you later, glass jars. Let's do those. Retracting stock mod. Dude, that's the thing too. Finding all these like books and stuff. Oh, hold on. Let's loot that first. Eh, I'll take the brass. 
that let's break it but seriously finding like that's another reason i really do want to loot up a lot of stuff bookcases man i do want to find a bookstore because it could just help us learn special types of perks that we otherwise can't get and special types of recipes and i like recipes all right i ain't no chef Ooh, lock picks. but uh there's definitely some stuff that i want to do what is this pistol pete more accurate with rapid firing nine mil good thing i got me a nine mil right over there right in my pocket all right nothing in the roof lock the doorway yeah i already know where the other side of that leads to and all right so this area is officially looted up we got the best loot that this has to offer our inventory is getting pretty full i might make a quick little trip in my favorite rocket ship top side because oh what come on dude can you not climb the ladder there you go I do want to make this quick little trip topside. Make sure not to fall off these rafters. That'd be bad. And just drop off some stuff up in our loot receptacles. Because we are about to be looting up some even better stuff. Hopefully we find some more ammo boxes too. Come on, come on, come on. And let's... Parkour! Nice. Parkour. I don't know why I keep coming up here. Ah! I really just want to think that my loot box is up there, but it's not. And now, the best part, y'all. All the zombies should be cleared out of here. Now it's just a matter of uh, taking the loot that we want. I will be leaving... Ooh, these switches. I'm going to leave some of the stuff in my inventory. I'm going to go toss it in our uh, other place. The ting. The ting with the name. Serrated blade. Actually, what can I mod with this blade? We don't really have a bladed weapon at the moment, unfortunately. Let's scrap some of this brass. We'll put away the pipes. Yeah, I could scrap the knuckles. I'm not going to be using those. I could probably sell this club for a decent penny. There is that nearby store. I kind of maybe will just make a road trip there. Sell a few things. And maybe spend the night here. Actually looting up this joint. That'd be relatively safe. But also very useful use of our time. And then maybe... I don't know if we want to keep on looting this town after we finish looting this. Because there are still a couple of very good stores. We got the tool store there. And we got a church over there, which I think has a lot of books from what people were saying. Or do we start making our way back home? Ah, uh, there's just not a lot to loot or do back home, you know? Although I do want to continue reinforcing and building up our base. And we got some quests we got to turn in. There's some quests we got to do out west. I say we're on a... Oh, no, zombie dogs! What are you doing here, dudes? Why are there so many zombie dogs? No, no, no. No, not school. What's going on, dude? What's going on? Why is this happening? Why are there so many zombie dogs here? No, bad, bad, bad. I do not want to deal with- Why is there a zombie dog horde all up in my business? Back, back, foul beasts. Oh. Are they all dead? I don't hear any more growls. Oh. You're never safe, man. I'm out here plotting my next move. I still gotta be worrying about a current move, man, so... I don't know. I reckon... Maybe we go to the settlement, maybe get a job there. Sell some stuff, see if he's selling anything himself. Because I do think on day 10, he's gonna restock and get fresh loot. So we gotta capitalize on day 9 here. Because we got a lot of money, we're ready to make some purchases. We got that buying power. So I think that might be the play. Then we'll loot up the rest of this bunker. And then I think we want to loot up a couple of these other stores, bring the loot back home, and take things from there. I think that's the plan for the time being, but that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me. For now, if you boys and girls are enjoying the series, make sure to hit that like button and let me know in that comment section down below. Hello, pupper. How you doing? Bop. Bop. Love to see it. Yeah, make sure to let me know in that comment section down below. And what you guys think of the current plan we got going on, just in general, how you guys are enjoying everything. And to go along with all of that, and that like button just a great way of letting me know that you boys and girls are enjoying the series and that you do want to see more. But with that said and with that done, that's going to go to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching. Have an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.